Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will focus on modified acceleration cost recovery system depreciation. In this video, we will run through a problem for modified acceleration cost recovery system depreciation, or MACRS. The topic of modified acceleration cost recovery system depreciation falls under the main category of engineering economics. Equations, symbols, tables, and information on the various topics covered in engineering economics can be referenced on pages 114 through 120 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, 8th edition, 2nd revision. The problem statement says, an engineering firm sold a piece of equipment for $15,000 after three years of service. The equipment was bought for $30,000 and has an expected lifespan of five years. If modified acceleration cost recovery system depreciation was used for the depreciation schedule, what is the net cash flow from the sale of the equipment? assume a 30% tax rate. So here's the solution. The goal is to determine what the overall cash flow coming back to the company will be after selling the piece of equipment. This equipment was purchased for $30,000 and sold after three years for $15,000. Taking into account that MACRS was used for the depreciation schedule and that any profit made from the sale was liable to be taxed at 30%, we can determine the net cash flow. So the first step to determining this net cash flow is to calculate the accumulative depreciation up to the date of the sale. The accumulative depreciation charge through three years of the equipment's useful lifespan can be calculated using the formula found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook for the Acceleration Cost Recovery System, which states that D sub J is equal to some factor times C, where D sub J is the depreciation in year J and C is the cost of the piece of equipment. The factor or factors in this case, can be found by noting the useful lifespan and referencing the modified ACRS table found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. It is important to note that these factors are given as percentages and must be converted to decimal when determining the depreciation. In this problem, we are given C, our cost of $30,000, a lifespan of five, and we're interested in the years one, two, and three. The useful lifespan is five years. So referencing the modified ACRS table on fa found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, we find that factor for year one is 20%, factor for year two is 32%, and factor for year three is 19.2%. So through three years, the cumulative depreciation is 71.2%. Plugging these values into the equation, we find that the accumulative depreciation over three years is 0.712 times 30,000, which is equal to $21,360. So the accumulative depreciation over three years for this piece of equipment is $21,360. The basis in the equipment at the time of the sale is then cost is $30,000 minus $21,360. So the basis is $8,640. Since the equipment was sold for $15,000 at this point, the tax liability is 
15,000 minus the basis of $8,640, which is equal to $6,360. This is the firm's gross cash flow before taxes. Adjusting it to account for the 30% tax rate, we find that the net cash flow is $6,360 times .70 which is equal to $4,452. So the net cash flow from the sale of the piece of equipment is $4,452. Well, that's it for this video. Do you know anybody that would benefit from this lesson? If so, let's try to reach out and help others by sharing this video with them. Also, take a second to like this video and leave a comment and tell me how it will help you move forward in your goal of becoming a professional engineer. And finally, type in engineerintrainingexam.com into your URL bar and visit the site to download for free the transcript to this video along with the example problem and solution we worked. While you are there, you can also sign up for the free EIT Academy Bootcamp. 137 pages and over 50 practice problems and solutions to get you on track to passing this exam.